we're close to downtown Raleigh today. We are actually on our way. Check this out. Don't know the history of this place. Just happens to be across the street from Trophy Brewing, where we had our lunch today. Had some pizza and we had some delicious sour beers. It's the end of Raleigh Beer Week, so they had a whole sour takeover of their taps today. That building's closed, buddy. <laughs> While the uh, the girls finished up their lunch, I decided to take Mr. Destructo Baby here down to the railroad tracks, which are right over here, see if we could see anything running. And we saw this NC Book Depository building. And we also saw Central Prison. So there's that. This is the track that Amtrak runs on from Raleigh going in that direction through NC State's campus out to points west of here. Today though we are not taking the train. We are going to go to NC State and see their Titan Arum which is blooming, blooming, not blueing, blooming. I really like that that map there. I think that shows what our state is more like than what our current state government would like it to be. Anyway, we're going to go to NC State and see their Titan Arum. And if you're not sure what a Titan Arum is, perhaps you've heard of the corpse flower. Six foot tall. This plant only blooms like once every 10 or 15 years. This particular individual plant has been growing for 13 years before it bloomed and it started blooming on Friday and like the, the flower opened on Friday. And uh, the flowers only last 36 to 48 hours. NC State has opened their greenhouses yesterday and today for the public to come see. So after church today, we decided to come down and check it out. So we had our lunch and now we're gonna head over to the greenhouse to go see the Titanarum and the six foot tall carrion flower, corpse flower. And that is the subject of our BAV today, so thank you for coming along. Unfortunately, you're not going to enjoy the smells, but I hope you enjoy the sights and the sounds of NC State's Titan Arum Corpse Flower. These are the teaching greenhouses, Bets. Plants, that's right. Not a good smell. Did you smell it? No, you couldn't smell it? Did you smell it, Benny? The flower? What was that flower? A corpse flower. A corpse flower? Was its name Lupin? I'm bending. What happened to your knee, buddy? It breathed. That's why I bumped into those blocks. You, you bumped into the blocks? Yeah. Do you mean the bricks? Yeah. I scraped it right here. Oh. Are you going to be more careful now when you walk? Mm -mm. Betsy, did you take a look at that big old flower? Yeah. What did you think of it? 
Nothing. Nothing? You didn't think of anything? No. Did you did you think it was a pretty flower? No. Yeah, it was kind of wilty, wasn't it? Yeah. So what did you think of that flower bridge? I thought it was pretty cool. It was big. It hasn't bloomed in a while. 13 years. I didn't get to smell it. Apparently that's because it's already been pollinated. It, yeah. The one of the horticulturists, horticulturalists inside was saying that once the flower has been, nope, this is our door. Once the flower has been pollinated, it starts to wilt and it stops producing its odor. So I don't know if they hand pollinated it or if the flies pollinated it. It kind of smelled like rotting fish more than rotting, I don't know, people. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Corpses. it's called corpse flower because it's the translation of the words from where wherever it's from Borneo or whatever. So yeah, six foot flower already starting to wilt, but I'm glad I got to see it because, like I said, that one took 13 years to bloom, and it may not bloom again for another five or ten years. Anyway, short BAV today because we are packing up and heading to Charlotte today. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.